Hey there, Northern Beekeepers. Welcome back. <clears throat> September 21st. Uh, today we're in the home yard. Gonna look into a couple of my nukes here. One of them had a virgin queen in a couple weeks ago. I uh, want to see if she is laying a little bit and just check on the health of a couple other hives that are uh, next to it here just to see how they're doing for winter. Um, we've only got a couple more weeks to get feed into these hives here at the, the home yard and uh, you know, winter's going to be coming here pretty quick. Some of the hives I examined last night and uh, here just a little while ago, the queens have really uh, slowed down the egg production. And, uh, you know, the colony is, of course, backfilling with uh, sugar and nectar and all that sort of stuff. So they're getting, uh, they're getting ready for winter. Um, it's coming. You know, we were, uh, could be a week or two away from our first frost. The golden rods have pretty much uh, finished up for us here, so there's not a whole lot of wildflowers for the bees to collect on right now. So they're pretty defensive of their hives, and uh, <clears throat> they're pretty much searching everywhere high and low for any little bit of nectar that uh, could be available. So uh, with that being said, let's uh, have a look here in the hives and see what we got. Hopefully we got a laying queen. If we don't, I'll have to try to combine that, that hive with another one. Um, it's way too late in the year to be, you know, trying to uh, mate another queen and get her laying before, you know, these hives shut down for winter. Uh, pollen's not coming. So hopefully she is mated and laying. So let's have a look. Okay, folks, as you can see, you know, I've got a feed pail on these. Um, I mentioned in previous videos here at the home yard, uh, you know, our fall flow isn't quite as good as what I have in my out yard there in the prairie. Um, we've got good spring flow but in the fall I've always had trouble getting enough nectar in these hives and with the number of hives I have out here I've got these uh, pails of sugar, sugar water our own. These are just uh, a gallon and a quart buckets. I just drill some small holes in there for the, the water to come down. It creates a vacuum. The bees suck it out and uh, kind of works out pretty well that way. I've also got a a 35 gallon feed tote with some straw in it out here by the garden just so they have an additional source to try to grab and uh, get these hives built up. So this hive here it uh, swarmed on me a little bit uh, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, it was fine when I checked it before and I guess they thought they were getting a little crowded. They had several undrawn frames of comb so maybe that was why they decided they didn't like it. Um, I can mention this queen, uh, when I last looked, she was in there. She looked like she was mated. Her abdomen had started swelling up, but she had not laid any eggs yet when I looked in here a week ago. So I'm really hoping to see some eggs this week. Um, I don't know that she'll get a big winter brood nest built up, but... As long as she is laying, and we are going to be in really good shape. I don't expect to see anything up here in this top box, but uh, we'll kind of look. I might have to shift some frames around, depending on what they have drawn. So this frame is barely drawn out. It's got a little bit of sugar syrup in there. This side is completely undrawn, so I'll have to move this down to the bottom. Um, Obviously here in Wisconsin they're going to move up to the top in the winter and you got to make sure you got to have, have enough feed up in the top when they do cluster up. This here is a nice nice drawn frame starting to cap it. Um, the next one kind of looks pretty similar. Try to look for a queen. Maybe some eggs. Not seeing any in that open area there. I'm really not expecting any eggs up top. But it would be a nice little surprise if she had a little pocket of, of eggs laid. And again, this one's kind of somewhat drawn out. Not like I'd like to see right now at this time of year for sure. This one's fairly decent. Starting to cap it and cure it. 
I'll pretty much take feet off here in a couple weeks and give them all of October to get everything cured up. Um, we've got good weather here this week and next week. The next 10 days look pretty good, so I should be able to get a decent amount of feed into them in the next little bit. It's got some good weight to it. Um, we do have a few, a couple undrawn frames down here that the bees really didn't ever did touch. So I'll just leave them in the bottom and they'll be fine over the winter. I'd really hope they were going to draw some comb with uh, pouring the sugar to them, but they really did never did touch it. So. And we do have some eggs. So, that's excellent. Here we got uh, some pollen. We got a few eggs laying down here in this, this bottom section right there. So she is mated and we are good to go for the winter here. You know, this is a fairly small colony. But last winter I did get a, just a five frame nuke through the winter. Um, I purchased my concrete blankets today for their wrappings on the winter. Uh, there you can see an old uh, old queen cell. Scrape that off. I don't like seeing them because they might get the idea they need to do some more. Probably not, but it's a good frame of pollen here. So they've got some decent stores. I am going to move one frame up to the top here. I got an older uh, wooden comb. I'll move that up since it's drawn out. And they can use that to store the sugar syrup up top. <clears throat> and there's the queen on the outside frame. So right there she is, nice looking girl there, said she was uh, looking pretty plump last week, but uh, just no eggs, so she just started laying here recently, so that's a good thing. Slide these down, move that over. And this uh, this colony here is looking okay. They should uh, should have enough feed to get through the winter. You know, I'll uh, do a video here uh, probably next week on how I'm going to winterize my hives. And how I did it last year with some, you know, pretty good success. And how I'm going to duplicate it again this year. One thing I have changed here in the last week is I started using uh, wheat straw for my smoker. I really like the smoke that it makes. Um, I had been using pine straw here just from the yard, but uh, bought a couple of straw bales <clears throat> for that tote. And I've seen some other people on YouTube use the uh, the wheat straw for your smoker. I just really like the smoke. It makes much thicker smoke, I think. And, uh, you know, the bales aren't super expensive. But just something else I'd uh, gonna try out. Seem to work out okay. And yeah, we'll just check out this uh, this next colony right next to it. They're a little more 
established. Um, but as you can see from the pails, you know, it's heavy robbing right now. I mean, any, any kind of little bit of sugar that's left around, they just go crazy over it. So you really gotta, really gotta watch what you're doing when you do your hive inspections this time of year. Try not to keep them open too long so you do cause a rob out. I haven't seen any robbing in the hives themselves, which is good. This hive here I'm not going to dig down into really, just check their stores out. I might have to move one frame around and see the outside isn't drawn up too heavy. We'll check her out here. Like I mentioned, for us here in uh, Wisconsin, you know, we've only got a couple weeks to really get these hives built up if you are feeding. That one's not too bad. With the cold coming in, you know, usually uh, October's kind of an in between month for us. Sometimes we get kind of an Indian summer and it warms back up. It weighs about the same as the other hive, so I'll just keep putting the feet on these two here and uh, that one's not drawn up very well. That side's drawn pretty good. Starting to cap that. Sign so I move another frame up from the bottom here as well. Just to get those fully drawn frames up top. It does have good weight to it. And uh, this yard here I have treated with oxalic acid vapor. Um, I think I might have mentioned that in a previous video, but uh, I got the mini vap vaporizer there. It works uh, pretty slick. Um, I've only got a couple hives with uh, screen bottom boards on them. For, uh, just to be able to check what my drop has actually been. Um, when I have done it I've only seen the you know five to seven mites drop out so I don't have a very high mite load in this yard. And in my out yard you know, that one I'm not treating at all. I'm trying to develop a you know, northern hardy bee that can kind of handle a little bit of mite pressure. And having some pretty good luck so far. And here we have some uh, cat brood and some eggs and stuff. So they're still laying a little bit. Getting that winter nest developed. These will all be winter bees, obviously. Still got some summer bees still in the hive. Got a pretty good uh, number of hash out here, and she's back filled that with eggs. And I see the queen there again. So the queen is right there. So this hive's looking pretty good. They're starting to back fill some of it with the sugar syrup. on there. And I'll probably have to come back and fill some of these buckets up tomorrow. They're feeling kind of light. Okay guys, so those two hives are looking pretty good. You know, we got a laying queen and the one that uh, that was a swarm. 
So that's good. The other hive there is looking pretty good. Just got to do a little uh, frame manipulation to get those drawn combs up top so they fill that top box. But otherwise we're looking pretty good there. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be making a video again next week on the winterization and uh, we'll see you then.